Are your days filled with things that you need to get done and not enough time to do them in? So are mine. Let's go over some tips about stress management in things that we may or may not get done today. Hey guys, my name is Sam and this is Anderson Lane. Thanks for stopping by. If this is your first time here, please don't forget to like and subscribe down below. This is day four of my holiday stress management tips series. We're talking about how there are so many things to do and it seems like there's never enough time to get them all done in. Let's go over some ways of how to fight this holiday stress. This is where I struggle with my stress. So how many of you get stressed out with the things that you have to do during the holidays? We have family parties, friend parties, work parties, church parties, dance recitals, concerts, midterms, family travel, family get-togethers, people staying with you, not to mention your shopping and your Christmas baking and all of that stuff. It can get to be a lot. So how do we fight that stress? I'm going to give you guys four tips on how to fight this stress. My first tip is to make sure that it's on a list. Write the things down that you need to get done. I always tell my kids, first things first. And sometimes I think I forget that myself. But you need to prioritize your list of things to do into first things first. So what is your order of priorities on that list? What has to be done that day? For instance, my daughter has a dance recital tomorrow. So tomorrow, I need to make sure that I have all of her stuff ready. That's the number one thing because we can't miss that. That has to be done. Dinner, I may not make it to the store and we may eat leftovers or we may end up eating out. That is not the top priority there. There's kind of different ways to look at your priority list. Things that have to be done time-wise, things that are going to stress you out if they're not done, and then things that you might be able to just let go and put off for a little while longer if they don't get done. I know that on my list I have things that I want to get done, they're goals that I have, but they're not my top priority. So you need to prioritize your list. First things first. My second tip is to make sure on that list that you have some time for yourself. So when you get on an airplane and they go through the safety precautions, they talk about the air mask coming down, make sure that you put it on yourself first and then put it on your neighbor or help your neighbor out. So the same thing goes with your stress levels and your priorities. If mama ain't happy, nobody's happy. And if you're not taking care of yourself, you're not going to be able to take care of everyone else either. So make sure that you schedule a little bit of time for yourself. And whether that's after the kids are in bed and you just need to sit down and read a book or look at a magazine or watch a TV show for 20 minutes, 10 minutes, whatever, make sure that you have that little bit of time that you need to decompress and de-stress and have just a little bit of time for yourself. And it's not a selfish thing. We all need to have that little bit of time that we can have just for us. That's, it's just part of the human experience. We just need that little bit of time for ourselves. It doesn't have to be a lot of time, but make sure that you're taking some time for yourself. Number three, the tip on this is to make sure that you can say no to some things. Your kids have Christmas parties that they have at school and there's a sign-up sheet or the teacher asks you if you can come in or your cousin asks you if you can watch their kids or somebody asks you if you can come help set up for something or anything like that, it's okay to say no occasionally. I know I am not very good at that. I say yes to pretty much everything because in my head I'm like, well, yeah, I, I can physically do that. Mentally, not so sure, but physically, yes, I can totally be there. I can be there to help with the classroom, but mentally, I might not be able to do that. And if I end up having to skip out on that, it looks worse on me for the people that I wasn't reliable to, and then I feel even worse because I wasn't reliable. 
is it better for me to say no and then find somebody else that they know can be there? Or is it better for me to say yes and risk either not being there or having a lot more stress on myself because I've overscheduled myself in something and I feel bad about it or it's stressing me out the entire week because I said yes to something. It's okay to say no. Make sure that if you are really stressed out about something or someone asks you something, be honest with yourself and them and just say, hey, you know what, I just can't do it this time. I'm sorry, but for sure, I'll try and do it next time, okay? And most likely they're gonna understand. And my final tip may seem kind of funny, but it is to lower your expectations for yourself. I know that my expectation for myself is much higher than anyone else's. But what I mean by that is we all see those beautiful Instagram photos of people at the perfect dinner or the perfect cookies or the perfect outfit. Lower that expectation. Most of people's social media photos are their best days days when they feel good and that kind of stuff where they're showing off those things that they've been able to do. So don't compare with someone's best days. Be okay with not having the perfect cake, not having the perfect shaped cookies. Be okay if they're messed up. It's all right. They still taste good, right? So lower your expectations for yourself. Don't put yourself or your ideas of what your holidays should be up on a pedestal. Take the holidays for what they are and enjoy them. That's the whole point of this series is to find joy in the holidays instead of finding all the stress that comes along with them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment down below with your stress saving tips. Thanks so much for watching guys. We will see you again next time. Bye.